gang, FLX Beer Reviews, back with another episode of As the Beer Swirls. My name's Dan. My name is Mike. Dan, I somewhat recognize this label, but <laughs> what are we drinking? <laughs> Mikey, it's a treehouse day! This is juice machine. <laughs> I got so excited. Uh... <laughs> this is an American double, just take a look. Just look at it. It's, uh, it's an American double IPA coming at 8.2 ABV. Brewed in Massachusetts by the Treehouse Brewing Company. Hey, they're all right. Keep cold, drink fresh. Canned on 114.22. Fairly fresh. We're just over two months. Yeah, time of filming, about two months. Yeah. Got a factor in February is a little bit shorter. We're missing a couple of days. Bingo, but it's... Uh, uh, do Juice Machines Dream? Question mark. We'll what find a, out. A wonderful reference. It's got a whole bunch of stuff in the back. We'll read this after we get into it. Right. Um, yeah. Now, what, we, what do you what do you know about this, Mike? Do you know any hops or anything? Um, I don't. Okay. I didn't even. It might be on the back somewhere. To be honest, it, with. it's not. Um. Okay. Maybe you can look it up on the uh, things when we're uh, when we're pouring here. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Tree we've hops. had we've had a juice machine before. Um. Have we? Yeah. Maybe you have. Oh, we had a can of it. It was... Uh, I'm not looking that up now. Oh, yeah, we'll look it up later. Um, so this beer care. came we from... Uh, hey, you know what? Don't even bother looking it up. We'll figure it out. Let's we'll figure it out after uh, Joe posts his comment. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Info. Wow. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Tyler. This, Tyler. <laughs> this beer no, came... No, uh, give, give me the, Give me the beer. Came from Steven uh, in his... Car filled with random beer goodness that he was just driving around with, and uh, he allowed us to purchase some of his extras. He's a good okay. guy. Now we're good. Okay. Um. So yeah, this is. Ooh, it's a dark rich. I'm sick of being persecuted for always like hogging all the beer. So we're gonna make sure it's even. I'm pretty even right now. Okay. I'm digging it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's really great. I got like a finger in it. Almost. Oh yeah. Two fingers ahead. Do that. Looks creamy. Rich head. Look at that. It is a, that is a, it's marmalade. That it is, is a, a golden dark, orange, creamy looking. Thick just, looking. Just milky, just, ooh, oh, yeah. all up in your face. The, the head on it is just funky white hops. fluffy, and well, let's just get a whiff because I'm already ooh. smelling it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, my gosh. That's the um, fruit cocktail fruit cup. Remember those with the, the cherries and the pears and the, the pineapple and the peaches oh, yeah. in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's. Dude, this is with some with a little bit of funk on the back of it. This is all sorts of tropical goodness. This is this is a tropical explosion. Passion fruit, mango, yep. pineapple, papaya. There's pear in there. I guava. Mean, it's... A little bit of the dude that hands you the umbrella drink <sighs> and the coconut after you get off the flight. Yeah, you're fairly certain he's bathed recently. That's where the funk. A little bit of suntan from. lotion. Slight bubble gummy, yeasty. Classical treehouse yeast. Yeah, kind of couple, thing. couple like maybe, maybe light gauge wiring. And I wasn't joking about the suntan lotion. I'm seriously getting like, banana boat. Like, I don't know. You ever smell like on the beach after you put on your your sunblock? Like that's. I like frequently the, make sure to smell myself to know that it's applied properly. Like the coconutty kind of. Yeah. Okay. I'm not. I'm not getting that. Mine's all. I'm not saying like coconut out. per se. It's just like that reminiscent. Well, well, Dan is smelling. Um, there's a confectionery sweetness. Don't try to steer the ship away from you smelling men <laughs> handing you doing <laughs> skin off planes with bathed in sunscreen. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I can handle this. Tweet. That's it. Let's dive in. Cheers. <laughs> Thanks, Stephen. Cheers. Yeah. By the way, Stephen uh, picked us up. For us on his way through, he said, "Hey, I'm stopping by Treehouse. What can I get you? Make your order, and I'll pick it up." So, thanks. Oh, mm. that's pleasant. Now, if you were to, as you were smelling that man, just give him a nice. <laughs> <laughs> that's what this beer tastes like. Mm. So, it's. Oh, man, getting a little burned. So here's the thing. Yeah, let's talk about it. 
all those tropical notes we talked about are there. <sighs> but this is coming off far more bitter and far more hoppier like than I than I anticipated. The hop just explosion that's coming out like you're getting the green like herbaceous aspect and it's a I'm, like I said I'm getting a little burn on the back end. The the tropical fruit notes almost just kind of take a half step back to that bittering aspect yeah. now. It, yeah. I'm not upset. I wish it was more even, I think. I feel like there's a time and a place for that kind of blend. Mm-hmm. And I'm okay with it. This is and, and delicious, this though. Because you have your treehouse beers where I thought this was going to be that classic treehouse tropical fruit goodness mm -hmm. mixed with that confectionery sweetness with that bit of, like, little bit of, like, hoppy bitterness. Okay. But this is, like, I would say 60-40. Yeah. And 60% yep. is that bittering, like, what kind of bittering would you say? Toothpaste? Toothpaste OJ is kind it, of bittering? Yeah. That's what I was leaning towards first. Maybe toothpaste pineapple juice. ABV 8.2? I don't think it drinks like an 8.2. Maybe a touch under. Slightly carbonated. Slightly. Not as creamy. It's not, as yeah, it's it not as creamy as I first thought it was going to be. But This it's, is I think weird. It, this I think I'm okay weird. with that. This like, is weird. This is one of the weirdest tree houses I've had, I think, in a while because it just doesn't... It doesn't fit the bill of what you normally expect from a tree house? No. Yeah, it's... I don't know, like, it was built up to be something? Expectations were dashed once we tasted it, I think. But yet again, it's not a bad beer. I'm okay with the taste. It's just, <laughs> I feel like I got catfished. <laughs> I feel, that guy, he handed you a drink, gave you a nice lay, and changed completely. Said, hey, here's no, a stout. What it was, is like, you're walking around after getting all that stuff. Like, oh, tropical goodness. And like, you walk through like, the back door of the hotel and it's just like back door and it's just like a dumpster and just like anything but tropical there's like just like this little kiddie pool back there and like the dogs in it just playing around in the kiddie pool <laughs> the one guy that you thought is all tropical is like he's, he's he's skimming the pool for like that sneaker that's down there and He's just, I don't know. I just forgot I got catfish by Treehouse. He had, he had a wonderfully delightful accent to begin with, and now he's like, oh, hey. Yeah. How he's, you doing? He's from New York. He's from New York. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, I'm, I'm skimming here. I believe those Yankees this year. Hey, oh, no respect. <laughs> um, is it? And the whole time we just said that, know what I pictured <laughs> as a character? You ever see, uh, was it Mona? Oh, Moana? Moana? No, I did not. But have you seen... Oh, like, The Rock. Like, yeah, right? The Rock's character. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm picturing. But <laughs> well, from New York. Okay, all right, I'm on it. I, I am on board with that. I got it. <laughs> um, is it... Is it making it more difficult to decide if you like this or to give it a rating or something? No, I mean, uh, do I like it? Yes. Rating, I give it a 4.2. That's exactly what I was going to give it. Um, it, it's very good. And you know what? It's starting to warm. And I think that the that juice is exploding. The a little juice bit more. is coming back up to the, the top. Are Everything's kind of leveling out. You know, it, it was, it was a really fun journey. Like your 60, 40 aspect, like on the nose where you were getting the fruit with okay, a little so bit of Okay, So this makes sense. Juice and machine is essentially the marriage of King Julius malt bill with a hopping okay. schedule more intense than that of very green. Oh, we got hops right there. Uh, the use of Magnum. Columbus, Amarillo, Citra, and Galaxy creates perhaps our most complex beer with unapolo unapologetic flavors of mango, creamy orange sorbet, papaya, passion fruit, with a wave after wave of juicy hop flavor. In spite of its intensity, it's intense. Mm. It is pillowy soft and drinks like a true pleasure. It is a mess of hop flavor that takes us to a place that few others, few other beers do. It's hop nirvana. I'd say that's a very fitting description. It is. For once, I agree with the J. Peterman catalog and their description of said beer. Yes, Dan, when I was in the Bocatan, 
selecting these hops. Um, yeah, I, I don't think we could have said it any better ourselves. I yeah. think that's exactly what this beer is. All right, that's another one in the books. Let's uh, get on out of here, Michael. Uh, down in the description below, Instagram, Twitter, Untaps, do all this stuff. Subscribe. Smash that like button. Smash it. Yeah. Did something else? I was going to say something else. I'll save it. I'll okay. save it. All right, sounds good. You'll have to find out in the next episode. <laughs> Steven, thanks for the beer. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Cheers. Cheers.